I ain't gonna hold you. Naruto was not about to be stopped this time around. So little bro right here is pretty much collecting Keke Genkai's. And Kakashi is up next on that chopping block. So him and Tsunade devise some sort of plan to fuck him over when he tries to absorb Kakashi. So when my dog is on his way to sacrifice himself for the village, Naruto catches wind of this and tries to stop him. But Shikamaru said, nah nigga, we not doing this today. Take your hungry ass back to Ichiraku, son. Is what I thought he would say. Let me Bro labeled him a thug and locked his ass up in prison. But lucky for him, Sakura said, This is Shippuden now, I'm useful. And immediately breaks his ass out. You went overboard again! So, as her, Naruto, and Sai are on the way to go save Kakashi, this man, Gara, decides to pull up in the most extreme way possible. Bro just casually spawns a natural disaster for what reason? And then just spawns in there like a doodle bob creation. But he ain't just here for show, he's standing on business. Cause he immediately attacks Naruto with rocks and then quickly proceeds to make a whole slip and slide out of straight sand. <laughs> ain't no way bro, this is what you do when you just have too much chakra to give a fuck. He's literally using his clones as a damn staircase to get to him. And you know damn well Gara is trying to avoid close combat at all costs. He still vividly remembers that ass whooping Rock Lee gave to his ass back in the junior exams. So he starts exploding the rocks that he summoned somehow. And as he sees him getting close, he then busts out some sand. And needles like Sasuke Shidori Senbo. But none of that shit matters because Naruto's clones are never ending. Cause he then uses yeah. them hoes as shurikens. Yeah. Like goddamn nigga. Like ain't nobody else is pulling this type of blasphemy off. The benefits of being born in Uzumaki is crazy. But now he starts leaping from rock to rock like he on a damn sonic course. You know Gara's ass is just gonna stand there spamming his sand. He ain't got no type of bag. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, Gara, I see you. I owe you an apology. I clearly wasn't familiar with your game. Bro really said Perry Weave and Pete this pulled off a damn roundhouse kick. You see his leg? Who knew Buddy could move like this? Because he now starts break dancing up the mountain with his sand. The dog is really handling all of Naruto's clones right now. And now he starts moving like he has a double fruit out here looking like a straight Logia. Bro was really trying to make this fight the toughest obstacle course possible. But his ass really went that high up just to bring his ass back down. What was the point? Now, this is where Gara made his big mistake. Naruto is now within good range to do some serious damage. Cause instead of moving around like he was before, he's just standing there going back to having no kind of bag. And Jesus, why are we getting this close up? This damn near gave me flashbacks to when he was a kid out here screaming my blood, my blood with his freaky ass. What is this? It's so warm and wet. <laughs> But anyway, Buddy pretty much said that talk no jutsu shit is not working today. Kakashi gonna have to get put in this pack, nigga. So he then collapses a bunch of rocks straight into Naruto. But somehow his ass came out unscathed and he has that rock soon done ready. And Gaara makes yet another mistake. I don't care how cold you think you is. If you ain't got white hair, you cannot be turning your back to your enemy. So he leaps up multiple meters into the sky and comes down careening out to that dome with his Rasengan. Oh yeah, we definitely saving here. Ain't no way he breaking through that. Oh shit! Oh shit! That man Naruto said, I'ma spare your life today. So instead, Kashi's hands, nigga. Oh my god, replay that shit. <laughs> that punch was just as potent as any Kakno Jutsu could ever be. Cause this man Gara done switched up real fast. Now I see why Jiraiya thinks Naruto could actually pull this off. But to end this off, Naruto manages to save Kakashi by going deep inside this guy and slowly pulling him out. Now we see this homie all bandaged up damn near naked on top of this mountain. And Kakashi and Naruto said it's time. We gotta put a little homie in a pack swiftly. So bro then begins launching bandages like a damn mummy. But this nigga and Naruto out here dodging like he's some sort of ballerina. And you know Kakashi is the copy ninja so he does the same exact thing. I don't understand why we being extra this movie. So after he just completely changed the weather, Naruto puts those Uzumaki jeans to work yet again and spawns a bunch of shadow clones each giving them an Odoma Rasengan. But mummy dude said that shit is not bad at work son and legit squad wipes all the shadow clones. And then he proceeds to eat the Rasengans up like it's Thanksgiving. Bro not even chewing he just swallowing. I'm sorry, but getting cooked by your own attack is just very disrespectful. That shit cannot slide without retaliation. So then this guy steals Kakashi's lightning blade and starts going crazy, just destroying everything in sight. And when all hope looks lost, we then see a light shine from the heavens. 
and this right here has got to be the most sauciest entrance I've ever seen from a jutsu in Naruto. He comes down from the heavens, Rasen Shuriken in hand, ready to go. And bro tries to absorb that joint, but that shit is not working. Naruto then just utterly dismantles him with the Rasen Shuriken. And yet again, he saves the day. No talk, no jutsu, just hands.